in this video I'm going to be doing uh, a mini grocery haul and a meal prep video um, of what I meal prep. I also meal prep for my mum as well. So I'm at Asda just now so I'm getting a pin and I'm going to get some stuff. Normally my meal prep days are on Monday but tomorrow I have some stuff I need to do. I'm going to get my hair done because it's not alright. Yes. I've not had it done. Well, I've had it cut, but I haven't had it coloured for like, since like May last year, and it's an absolute disaster. So I'm going to get it fixed hopefully tomorrow. So, I shall see you guys soon. Bye bye. Hey guys, so it's just to show you um, quickly what I got. Um, let's just start from this side and work along. Uh, so I get the Arla protein yogurts. I have them for breakfast or I have them as a snack. I haven't tried these yet, um, so but I thought I'd get them for a little something different for a snack if I get hungry. Always get apples and bananas because I have a really bad sweet tooth, so I try to have that. <laughs> um, brown basmati rice. I'm also going to be making a tigreen curry chicken as well and I have some frozen veg here. This is the vegetables that I'm going to be putting into my tigreen curry. Uh, protein wise I have white fish I haven't tried these before, I just thought I would give them a go because uh, turkey is lean. So I think I'm going to dice them up, season them a wee bit and maybe make that with my rice for post-workout meals. Not quite sure yet. And then I just got two of these. It's a fresh chicken mini fillets to dice up to put into my stir fry. So, yeah. And I shall show you how I'm cooking. Hi guys, um, so it's just to let you know what I'm making first. I'm going to make my Thai green curry first. But um, for me, I'm just going to have the curry, but the rice and quinoa is for my mum. Because she needs to gain and I need to lose. Um, so I've just cooked some diced chicken breast and some coconut oil. And I'm just letting the rice and things boil away just now. And I'm just going to add a few tablespoons of Thai green curry paste to my chicken. And then I'm just going to cook that into that for a wee minute or two. And then I'll show you the other stuff I'm going to add. So I've just let the Thai green curry paste just cook into that for a minute or two. Now I'm just going to add the coconut milk. Yummy. And it's the light coconut milk. Blue dragon. Focus, focus. Ah, you can kind of see what's going on there. I'm gonna get this done. Oh, and also I add, this recipe is actually from Jo Wicks, a body coach, and it's so yummy. So I'm gonna add one chicken stock cube as well. And I'm gonna give that a wee stir until it starts to bubble, and then I'm gonna add in the veg. So it's now starting to bubble guys, so I'm just going to put in the vegetables which I'm going to be using and it's the mushroom stir fry thing, thing. <laughs> the mushroom stir fry bag that I'm going to be using so I'm just going to pop that in. So that's the vegging guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn it down and just let that simmer for a few wee minutes until the veggies become a little bit softer. And the rice is pretty much done, well, the rice and quinoa, so I'm going to be plating that soon. Yay! 
Um, obviously, like I said, guys, I got this recipe from Joe Wicks, a body coach. I'd never tried Thai green curry before, and I tried his for the very first time. I made it, um, I think it was just last week or the week before, and me and my mum absolutely loved it. And then, so, when was it? The other night there, I thought, yeah, let's we'll order Chinese, and I'm going to try the Thai green curry. And we got it, and it wasn't, I don't know, it had more of a kick to it. Um, I'm not too sure why mine, according to my mum, mine's tasted better, and to be honest, I do agree. Um, but theirs was just quite bland, um, but it had more spice in it, I think. Uh, but yeah, my mum thinks that um, mine's is a lot better, and it was so yummy. And it's obviously nicer for you, so I'll watch it. So my mum's just came downstairs after that wee video. I was just saying to them how, not them, you guys, um, that we'd never really had Thai green curry before and then I made it. And then we ordered one from the Chinese, which was better. Yes. What, what, why do you think mine's was better? There's more flavour to it. And the one from there was just like green dye. If you ask me. <laughs> green dye. It did have more of a kick to it, like I said, guys, but I don't know. Thanks, it's a bit crazy. <laughs> so that's it all yummy and all combined all together. All the flavour flavours and the veg is now some. It's got some tenderness to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to box them up. I put them in boxes like this. So those will be for my mum because she's going to be having the rice and then I'm just going to be having the curry because I'm going to count the vegetables as my carbs. So yeah, I'll show you all once it's all dished up guys. So I totally underestimated how many boxes that I was going to need. Um, that batch there made um, four meals, two for my mum, that's the ones with the rice, and then two for me. But it is now quarter past ten. So what I'll do is I'll prep another batch tomorrow so that I have some more for my dinner. Because my mum does have a few meals left in the freezer. So I'll be back tomorrow with some more meal prep for you guys. Good night, have a good one. Hi, welcome back to the next chapter of my new prep. Um, so in this chapter I'm going to be making the fish, the turkey fillet along with some veg and rice and I'll just show you. I've kind of prepped it for you just to kind of take all that bit out I'm sure you can do that in your own time. So this is what I've prepped. So this is just white fish, this one here. White fish seasoned, I've uh, sprayed it with some coconut oil and I've seasoned it with this. Ooh, Magito lime. So hopefully that should be yummy. Uh, and then I have my turkey and I've seasoned that with garlic and paprika as well. Just diced it up, seasoned it with, uh, sprayed it with coconut oil and seasoned it with that. And then I have my vegetables and my rice. So yeah, I'm just going to pop that all on the stove and the oven. Now I shall show you guys some more. Yay! So guys, that's going to take about half an hour for me to cook. So I have half an hour to do a quick hit workout while that cooks. Um, it's nothing that you haven't seen before, guys. Um, it's just going to be sprints. I've seen it in my other videos. Lots and lots of fun. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go and get late.
guys, I just wanted to say quickly as well, I've had a few people ask if I just put it all into the fridge. I put some into the fridge and then I put some into the freezer. So I shall show you. So I'll put in maybe two days worth into the fridge. My mum's secret chocolate stash. And my snacks. Hmm. And then da, 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 I pop the rest into the freezer. So, yay! And then um, normally what I do is I just take it out the night before um, for what I want for the next day. Hi guys, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video. It was just to give you some insight to what I meal prep for the week. And this is basically what I do. I prep lunches and dinners. Um, breakfast wise, as I said, I normally either have the protein yogurt. Um, sometimes I have protein pancakes too. And then I'll have my lunch and I'll have my dinner and maybe an apple or some nuts for snacks as well. And protein shakes for after workouts and things. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and I shall see you guys soon. Yay, yay, yay. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> I should see you guys soon. Thank you for watching and give it a thumbs up. Bye. <laughs>